Alright guys, today we have with us the fellow holy grail of microphones, the Flea 251E, not the Telefunken 251E or non-E. But I just want to quickly get through a video because I've tried doing this a bunch of times and I keep jabbering away with stuff that I don't really know what I'm saying but I'm quite excited by these microphones so hopefully uh, the lack of videos and stuff that's online at the minute about this, nobody, I can't see anything and there's no reviews or there might be a few but they're it's like, oh, what is this microphone? It sounds like it's in the same family. I mean, it's whatever, right? The best thing to do is ignore this video entirely. Go get yourself one of these and listen to it in your studio or your home or whatever, and then have your own opinion. Because that's the only way you're going to know whether this is the right microphone for you. But if I can help you get there, I'll do it. Because I can't find these videos and it, it would have helped me. Um, so a bit of a disclaimer. Um, obviously, I'm not getting paid for any of this kind of stuff. But I've had, I've had this to try for a little bit. Uh, really like it. Sounds great. I also own a Bok 251, which I know very well, and I've also tried a Telefunken 251E uh, a couple times, a few times. I've tracked on one, and I've tried one in here, vocals mainly, things like that. This is the Bok 251E, um, so I'll just go straight off the bat and just go, what you get in the case, and things like that. I mean, what you get in the case is right here. There you go. You can see what you get in the case. It's built probably better than this. I think this looks better than this. This weighs, this weighs more than this. It's heavier, unless my left arm is rubbish today. I don't know. It's got a white cap. Does that help anybody? Who cares? It's got a white cap, non-chrome silver cap. It is metal, but it's uh, it's sort of painted or something. I don't know. Who cares? I mean, why is that even a thing? But I think, obviously, they've tried to go for their... The Telephone, the 251E reissue version. I thought, when I read the blurb and stuff about this, that this was based... The, the flea was based on... Look at that. Look how nice it is. Was based on the old 251 uh, non-e version but i don't think that's the case and i could be wrong and and f feel free to um not message me about this but the, the the rating of this this um the tube inside it's like a 12 ah something i think seven or, some, or something could be wrong but i think it's based on the same rating as the 251 e reissues that exist now telephone can um of their tubes they're just the more readily readily available tubes they are the 6072 a's in the telephone can, and this is the 12 a something i don't know who cares it, it's a thing it contributes considerably to them to the, the sound but nowhere near as much as the tuning and the voicing of the capsule in my opinion um and you can say all the electronics and stuff inside it it's built like an absolute brick it's incredible loads of stuff inside it looks almost identical to the telephone 251e that i've uh, seen inside and have pictures of. I'll try and include some stuff to the side where there's the negative spaces in the video, I'm not sure. Um, I'll try and include some pictures of that. Now, I could whip this open and show you what's inside it, but I don't want to get into too much trouble because uh, Studio Care have kindly lent me this and it's in wonderful condition. And I was able to try it out and just see what it sounds like in my studio. So anyway, aesthetically, looks insane. They've done an incredible job. The build quality is nuts and uh, and the internals are bonkers as well. I'll show you some pictures of them. Um, Conversely, this looks completely different inside. It's the Bok 251. Um, this doesn't look like the that one, the Flea or the Telephone can it, inside, but I'm not, and I'm not a microphone builder, so they might be well specced and things like that. Um, and I'm sure they're very similar. Are they in the same family? Probably. They don't sound like the same microphone to me at all. I mean, they have similar character characteristics, but um, I would say that the C12 from Flea sounds more like the 251 from Flea than the Bok does to either of them. But then again, does that mean, I'm not talking about the Bok, I'm talking about the Flea. So I just wanted to, you know, just give you some sort of context. But anyway, so let's try and get this short. I, I just wanted to get across this point, right? What does it come with? Right, so that's cool, yeah. It's come with this, this wonderful flight case, but it's got a serial number, it's got like all this, I don't want to lift it too much, but it's got a massive, it's, it's really heavy, heavy duty. It's got like all this, this fancy, like, um, see at the bottom there, it's gonna slide off, but look at that. Got this, this nuts thing and the telephone can 251e they give you like a briefcase in case you're going to work or something like that looks beautiful i absolutely love one and i would also like one of those microphones so please send me one for free but um this is more like you could take it to a uh, navy seals boat or something and throw it out the window of a boat uh, anyway um anyway so this is a uh, comes with this fancy like velvet case thing it's absolutely beautiful amazing whatever i'll put the box to one side for now try and not drop that um I'll just, I'll just put it on the side on the floor. Anyway, so this comes with this like incredible mounting system, which is very akin to the Telefunker 2518. It's like this, like that, absolutely solid. And in practice, that goes down very far. So if you look at that, the, if I take my fingers out of the way, 
um, the actual thread goes right down, so you can hang it right upside down comfortably, and there's loads of extra thread, which I didn't actually have that much on a 251E telefunken that I tried. Um, but yeah, I can't remember if I said, but that's a, that's based on the 60, 60, 72A at tube, as opposed to the non-E version, which you might be mistaken thinking because it doesn't have an E on it. I don't know if that's copyright things, I'm not sure why. But the non-E version of the Telefunken, um, not all of them, but most of them had the AC701, which I believe had a better noise rating. Uh, anyway, back to this. Does that mean anything in practice? I don't know, because I haven't got one to try and it's really hard to kind of like guess. But also if you can find one, it's not even in the same league as price, so I don't, why even care? Um, does it get the job done? A hundred percent. And they're both incredible microphones, so just do your job. Anyway, right, this is uh, the, the, the fully sort of um, yoke fitting, whatever it is. Credible, built like a brick as well, really heavy. It's got like a little um, thread on the bottom. It's attached to the pin out at the bottom of like that. I've got two Flea 12s. I'm trying to get through it as quick as I possibly can. The two Flea 12s, and they're very similar to this, uh, which leads me on to the power supply. So I'll put that down just for now. And the power supply of this uh, microphone like this. Really heavy, it's a UZ56. Look at that, I got it right. Um, it's a UZ56 and it's got um, the tick and the little jewel off the front because you aren't Aladdin or something. Um, but the other one has like a fancy blue jewel on it. Uh, in fact, no, it doesn't have the back. Maybe that has, oh, that's where the um, the variable uh, pattern switching is. So that, which leads me to this actually. The switch on this. I'm sorry, Bok, but this is a lot better. So this switch goes from uh, Omni, Cardioid, Figure 8, Figure of 8 and it's solid and it clicks and it moves and it locks in, right? The Bok is a little bit more fluid and a bit whatever, right? I think the build quality of this is like second to none in terms of like how how well put together it is. I don't know how they've done it, but obviously it shows you um, if you manufacture in a different country over to America and you don't put um, crazy uh, price on things, I won't get too political, but like they've nailed it. Sounds really good and it's, uh, it's built like a brick, so yeah. Also, the most important thing you've ever seen. Look at this. Fully have done it again. The hat. Look at this. Can you see this? Now, that level of velvet is unmatched. So I've got two fleece welds, as I mentioned, and both the hats don't match up to this. So I guess you pay that a little bit extra and you pay for a, a five grand plus fat, six grand ink fat uh, microphone and you get a hat that looks like this. That's very nice. Thank you very much. So yeah, and obviously it comes with a flight case. So that's it, that's all, that's cool. Um, the other thing, the Bok has a hefty power supply, it looks like this. Uh, and it kind of does all this kind of like, you know, it's, it's a, some sort of linear phase power supply, or, or I mean, is it, you know, I mean, I, I just don't care. What does the microphone sound like? That's the most important thing, right. So this microphone, straight off the bat, it sounds like oh to me. That sounds like oh, right? The top end is completely different to the Bok in my opinion. The Bok sounds rounded. It sounds, let me get it, let me get the box again, I'll show you. It, right, do you wanna know if they sound like a 251A telephone can? I don't think they do, or at least not the one that I tried. Are they in the same family? 100 million billion percent, yes they are. So they have the same thing. This one has the low end and bottom end and sort of mid range thing that pushes forward like the telephone can does like a pop mix. It just throws, it goes there and goes, you goes. Don't have to compress it too much. Let's just sit this in the mix and you're happy. Happy as, you know, happy as Larry, it's in there. The top end, it's more rounded in my opinion. It doesn't have the top end air that I'm aware of. It's, it's slightly darker than I was expecting. Don't think that's a bad thing. And it doesn't, it's not as dark as the, the Flea 47 or, or like RU 47 or obviously ribbon stuff, but kind of in the world of like between a 67 rounded top end. And I'm talking top end as in like, 7k upwards so you know it's very much like air and sibilance and stuff region and I, I think that's because the problem with this microphone the Bok 251 it sounds way more detailed off the bat like considerably more detailed in my opinion it's got like a if you look at graphs and stuff there's they're very similar but to my ears it, it it's not it, the top end is like feels more detailed so when you do like vocal stuff like blah, 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 like you know that kind of like but higher and higher octave or whatever you can hear the um the kind of tonality going between the notes and steps and stuff like that, which means that you can tune them easier, in my opinion. But it also means that conversely, you have to DS the hell out of this to make it sound, um, to make it fit better in a mix, in my opinion. But I know people that use these that also think they're dark. So what do I know? You know, there's, there are obviously differences between each microphone, which draws me to the point of this basically feels like an E and this feels like an O. And I found that quite a lot with, um, monitors that they sound quite different 
uh, and the voicing of that is the preference of the listener. You're always going to get a good result with microphones at this level. Um, not always, but if, if you've got an idea of like compression and EQ and, and basic DSing and stuff like that, then you're probably going to get an incredible result with both of these things. Even if you leave them flat, they're going to sound great, okay? They could sound better, but they both sound incredible and, and then the, neither of them are, are poor. So it's whether they sound like a 251E from Telefunk or not. I don't think they do. I think they sound very different. This sounds detailed. It sounds like the top end that I remember from 251E. And this sounds like the low end and mid range that I remember from the Telefunk 251E. But they're not the same microphone. And this has feels like it has a better detailed top end or an annoying DSable top end. And this has the mid range and low end that I want to hear from this microphone. So what's the solution? get both so this is this was like a five six grand mic now ink that and this is about a five six grand mic now the build quality in this i think is way better than this one potentially but the sound of this one i prefer right now sue me i prefer it right now to my ears I prefer this one the low end and mid range of this one i prefer and you could argue that's way more important than the air and the presence of the top end but i'm just kind of expecting something else um I think some of the Telefunk and 251Es that I've tried sound like the best bit of this and the best bit of this, but they're also £11,000 or $11,000, maybe 10.5 if you're lucky from somewhere. Ink that, um, and also not available. So if you get two of these fleas for the same price of maybe one of that in these incredible flight cases, I mean, in terms of tools and getting the job done, it's, it's like very highly up there. Um, obviously, it's just my opinion. Doesn't really matter what, which one you go for, uh, or neither. You know, maybe you can either. But these are both incredibly high-end microphones, and uh, I think you should check them both out. So uh, let me know what you think, and uh, if you've got any more questions, let me know.